Given the cost of a hardcover book, the price of it typically hovers around $25. Many consumers ask their book dealers, when will the paperback be out? So let's just think about this. Given the cost of a hardcover book, so this is what we're talking about. We're talking about the cost of a hardcover book. The price of it typically hovers around $25. So they're trying to give us a little bit more information on the cost of a hardcover book. But this, this clause here that they give us, the price of it typically hovers around $25, is, is, is very wordy and it's very clumsy. Where they're really saying, you know, given the cost of a hardcover book, which typically is, hovers around $25, so I'm going to look for a phrase that's closer to which typically hovers around $25. So, Let's look at our cho choices. So the first choice is always exactly as they wrote it here. So I'm going to rule that one out because it really does feel very wordy and very clumsy. Given the cost of a hardcover book, and typically it covers at a it hovers at a price around twenty-five dollars. Well, once again, th this is this is a little bit this is a little bit strangely worded. And typically it hovers. We really want to have a, a relative pronoun which here. You know, we're talking about the cost, which does something, which hovers around $25. So and choice C actually seems to do the trick for us. Given the cost of a hardcover book, which, and what is the rel what is the relative pronoun which referring to? It's referring to the cost of a hardcover book, which typically hovers around $25. Many consumers ask their book dealers, when will the paperback be out? Well, this one feels really good. It conveys the exact meaning that we want. It's much shorter, which typically hovers, is much shorter than the price of it typically hovers. And it's, it's a lot less convoluted. So C is definitely where I'd like to go. Now let's just look at the other choices. In that it typically hovers, given the cost of a hardcover book, in that it typically hovers. Well, once again, you just really need to say which typically hovers. In that, you're doing this prepositional phrase. It's, it's, it's a very strange thing, just to kind of give a, a, a little bit of an of a, a extra context of the cost. So I'm going to rule that one out. They typically hover. So this one, they, you're talking about something in the plural, and the cost is singular. The cost of a hardcover book, at least the way it's being referred to. So we're not saying they. This is this this is a this is this is plural. While the thing that we are that the pronoun, the relative pro, or the, well, in this case, just the pronoun is referring to is is singular. The cost, singular. So that's why this one right over here doesn't make any sense. So yeah, given the cost of a hardcover book, which typically hovers around $25, many consumers ask their book dealers, when will the paperback be out? That feels very good.